The second in the Hebrew letter sequence in Psalm 119 is, Beth. Psalm 119,9, How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. One thing that every young person should take the time to learn about in the turmoil of today's world, is the word of God. They are taught everything else in school except the biblical truths. The freedom of religion pendulum has swung too far to the left and it is now held up as freedom from religion. Even though it is against the law to teach the Bible in school, as Christians, we are still obliged to get the word of God to them. Again, in the Hebrew letter Beth, all of the verses begin with the second letter of that alphabet and the Beth passages extend to Psalm 119, What does it mean when this verse asks, how can a young man cleanse his way? Foremost, it indicates a state of inquiry where the subject is pondering the question, how he can be protected from the corruption and deception of his own heart, escaping the temptations to which he was exposed to earlier, and continue on the way to leading a pure and God-pleasing life. There can be no more comprehensive answer than what is stated in this one verse. All the precepts of ancient and modern wisdom, all the teachings of pagan morality and religion, and all the results of the experience of mankind could furnish nothing in addition to what is already suggested here. The worldly precepts about humanity's ability to please God have no validity apart from what is recorded in the Word of God and rendered as a guide for Christianity. This passage is addressed especially to the person young in Christ because those of us who have walked with Christ for any length of time are guided by His Spirit, the matter is already settled by experience. The solution as to how can a young Christian be cleansed, making the course of their lives as pure and upright is answered succinctly in the phrase by taking heed according to your word. Because of their inexperience, the immature in Christ must commence learning about how to live on a godly trajectory, to them, the path is indeed ambiguous. There are so many other points in their unresolved future that they are apt to put aside the consideration of spiritual sanctification and cleansing in favor of that which seem to be of more immediate and critical importance. The question that most often comes to the mind of every young person who has a godly desire to seek the proper path of righteousness now is confronted by the dangers which impede their success and it must be overwhelming. For the phrase has a particular reference to the future. Before the cross, the issue was complex, how a person could be reconciled to God must have seemed very perplexing, especially without his indwelling course correcting Holy Spirit who alone, can make their future pure, and by what principles they should adopt that would guide them along that path of assurance. On this side of the cross, we are blessed to have his Holy Spirit indwelling us and acting as a spiritual guide as he renews our flesh-trained mind and brings it into an agreement with God's Holy Word. The person under the old covenant of law had to govern themselves according to the law of God, but on this side of the cross, our goal is to remain cleansed as we walk and are governed according to the law of the Spirit. Romans 8 2 Because the Spirit's law of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death.